but you know, I've been seeing a lot of things going on in the news, and I just I'm really saddened by the whole Philando Castile verdict. And so I wrote this, you know, just for a lot of people that were just tragically taken. You guys know I'm like when I'm on the mic, I get nervous. Okay. <clears throat> So we're living on a sphere of depression, oppression, and fear. For all those that were lost, tragically taken without cause. Your lives are never forgotten, we always take pause. Remembrance is acceptance of the barriers that we face. Surviving day by day to make it while living with hate. Wondering if the world's destruction will be our fate. Tyranny and racism are symbols of a society's acceptance to tolerate lack of knowledge, corporate slavery, and resistance to change all in one gate. Once awoken, the greats will have spoken to give the people truth as a token, to lead a nation through a movement that will finally abolish mental communion. Actions that have left people in a bubble of illusion when dealing with a political and hypocritical union of confusion. Back in the day, Hughes referred to it as dreams deferred. If we heed to his words in that great poem and ask ourselves, will we take a stand or lay fold in command to an army of tyrants slowly extinguishing our true race of all men? Or can you break the mental chains of slavery through unity, kindness, and understanding? And only then will it begin the rebirth of our great nation.